A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us So this is number one out of the whole series. Okay, we are playing the new Tomb Raider. Uh, we are playing in the PC version. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, we were just on a ship that's been attacked by uh, the Stormy Brother, and we are now landed on an island. Okay, so. I have played the... Well, I've played a bit of this game already, uh, but I've come straight back to the very beginning, uh, so there are no spoilers for you so far. Okay, so we have just been uh, knocked out, and now um, we are being taken, or simply taken away, uh, into what looks like a some sort of tomb. Okay, so the graphics in this game are really good. I quite uh, it's quite sort of dragged me into the game. Um, I know graphics isn't really everything in the game, but it certainly helps when they're really good. Okay, so we now seem to be uh, hoisted into the air upside down. So let's see what happens. Uh, I've quite been looking forward to this game for a little while now. Uh, I was a huge fan of the older generation Tomb Raiders. Uh, I used to play Tomb Raider 2 quite a lot, so I had real high hopes for this game. Okay, so looks like we've got to escape our little bit. So we start swinging and knock this ball into the right so it catches fire. And a skeleton just dropped through the floor. Awesome. Okay, so now this whole thing on the left is on fire, so if we swing into that, hopefully we can catch on fire and free ourselves. Almost. So one more swing and we will have it done. And there you go. Okay, so we're now free, but now we've also got a metal spike through Lara's uh, stomach. So mash E to pull it out. Oh, and that is done. Okay, so we've just gone through it. That's now a checkpoint of that after you pull that out. So I would say if you die, you come back to that checkpoint. So let's see what the very first part of this game has to offer. Okay, the graphics are really good. Uh, it sort of just drags you in, 
the mood of the uh, scene here. Okay, so we'll pick, we've picked up this torch and light the barricade so we can get through. Okay, so we're through there now. So we'll keep walking on and see where this goes. Okay, so looking like we're squeezing through a gap and just gone through the water, which has now put out our torch. Press Q to examine the environment and it brings up, it sort of makes everything black and white and highlights things in yellow of interest. So we'll light our torch here and turn around and jump up there and hold E to ignite this cloth. Now, so it sort of looks like it's this could be a very close. Yeah. Oh, that looks like the person that captured So, mash, ooh, mash left and right. Ooh, let's get to the right. That was close. Right, so we'll continue on through this cramped, uh, what looks to be flooded mine shaft sort of thing. So, so far my views on this game are really good, I've really enjoyed it so far, um, but I'm not overly far through the story itself, uh, I, I'll give a better uh, review on that later maybe, but so far the first part of this game is really good anyway. Okay, so we've just gone through and our torch has been put out again by a lucky little waterfall. And now we have some sort of bit here, so we go through there again, and there's a bit to relight a torch. Okay, so we have some sort of contraption here, and I'm just going to run through how to do it, so you can ignite these two bits there, which then lowers down that bit in the water. Now, that bit collects all of this junk that's floating down the river. Okay, so if we run up here, wait for it to get loaded up a bit, and then we'll jump onto there and balance, can balance that, and tip all of the junk that we've just collected, or at least some of it, into that container up there. Now, if we run around, We can now set this on fire and give it a push. That rolls down here where we were earlier really and ignites those some of the exploding barrels. So now we can get out. Okay, so I think this place is about to fall down, so let's go. Move and get out there. Ooh. Go this way then. Okay, so we can now control Lara left and right as we fly down the slope and let's run. Because this place is definitely falling apart. Jump. And let's have that. And go. Okay, so we run up it. And jump into the clock. Uh, left right, left right. Uh, kick him in the face. And switch. Tag. Let's continue to run up here and jump. And we've just left our torch down a ditch. So, now let's. Left and right to climb at this steep slope. Dodging big boulders as they come down. Oh, look to it. I'm not a huge fan of this mashing key 
business, but if that's what we've got to do, it's what we've got to do. Um, that is the end of the first mission. Okay, so uh, we will now see a short cutscene. Now we are out in the open. So this is the Alien Gris Tacon, and there are the titles, so thanks everyone for watching, uh, please like, comment and subscribe, and you will get all my future videos. Thanks for watching, goodbye.